Why would a country move its capital city? Indonesia is famous for its tropical beaches, diverse culture, and imposing volcanoes. It consists of over 17,000 islands and lies on the infamous Ring of Fire, with four tectonic plates all converging across the country. This means that the current capital city, Jakarta, is in an area of high earthquake and volcano risk, and Indonesia's earthquakes can often be devastating. Moving a capital city. In 2018, the Palu Koro Fault ruptured near the city of Palu, causing an earthquake and tsunami which killed over 4,500 people, left 200,000 displaced, and the damage cost an estimated $911 million. With the rapidly rising population of 10 million people, a similar disaster would cause an unthinkable amount of destruction in the capital. On top of this, intense congestion has made it one of the most polluted cities in the world, and groundwater extraction combined with rising sea levels are causing the city to literally sink. It's estimated that over 95% of North Jakarta will be submerged by 2050. So what can be done? Well, in 2019, Indonesia's President Joko Widodo announced that the capital would be moved to Nusantara, on the east coast of Kalimantan in Indonesian Borneo. Over a five-year period, they will build a city that can be a stable international hub for centuries to come. On the surface, Nusantara looks like a safer setting, but scientists are worried about its proximity to the Palu earthquake and the confluence of four tectonic plates near the site. Enter the University of Cambridge and the Institut Technologi Bandung. In 2018, their teams deployed 30 seismic stations in Kalimantan and Sulawesi and 28 ocean bottom seismometers in the Makassar Strait to measure earthquake activity in the area. Seismic recorders work by using electronics that keep a small weight still when the earth moves. The force needed to hold the weight in place tells you how strong the earthquake is. To understand whether Nusantara will be under threat from earthquakes, they are deploying a further 25 seismic stations around the site of the new capital. This new research will contribute towards building Nusantara in a way that is protected from earthquakes. And the data will become a vital source of future research that will improve earthquake science across Indonesia. So. Why move a capital city? It's nothing new. Nigeria, Pakistan, Tanzania, and Brazil all moved their capitals in the 20th century for different social or economic reasons. For Indonesia, we now know the fault lies underground with the earth itself. And by moving its capital to a more seismically safe location, it will become a stable city for centuries to come.